we are going to use the, the pipeline the IPRNB. This is our uh, pipeline files. There is also a nice readme file that I have mentioned. And uh, this gives the details of the pipeline and the simulated data. And uh, most importantly, there are software requirements for the pipeline. You can see uh, the requirements. And uh, for, the, for, the, for the GWT calibration pipeline, SCP, Astro Scrappy, which are, uh, might be not familiar to you, and uh, they, I have listed uh, all the, uh, the website that you can download and uh, install the, uh, this dependence. I think uh, all of them support the PIP install. So if you are familiar with the PIP, so it's just a one line of code, you can install uh, almost uh, all the Python dependencies. So below there are also some file explanations of the of the pipeline, also the the data files, and uh, and if you want to know which file has what kind of information, you can read those short descriptions. Uh, at the end, there is also my email. If you have any further questions after this webinar, you can just uh, uh, contact me using my email. Now let's go to the pipeline. Uh, I will just zoom in a little. Uh, here is what the pipeline looks like, and uh, it has some basic information. There is also a nice table of contents. You can jump to uh, each of them if you are interested in particular information. But we will run step by step. Uh, first is some uh, import of the, of the packages. And then the next cell is about setting up the data directory. and uh, here you might want to change the, the data directory to your own, if you want to run on your own machine because here is for the Swiss Tesco server. And uh, here we just run this one. It print out where the raw data is. Then there is a big uh, blocks of the pipeline information and uh, it has introduced the three stages of the reduction and the Stage one is uh, applies the basic uh, detect level corrections and uh, it converts a ramp to a count rate map for each exposure. And uh, since stage one is probably the most uh, complicated step and uh, it uh, takes, uh, uh, I think, over 20 minutes for our run. And uh, although we, today we just uh, run for one, one pointing, which is a series uh, 7B pointing with just a two filter, but it can still take up to 20 minutes for stage one. So we pre-run stage one and save all the files there. And uh, we have set and modify, we have a keyword which it calls skip stage one. If you set it to true, uh, when the code detects the file is already there and it will not run against stage one. But if you are interested in really running stage one and, and see what's happening, you can just uh, set this uh, variable to false or you just uncomment this line. And uh, then it, w it will always run stage one regardless of the uh, file. So this is stage one. Stage two just applies additional corrections and uh, calibrations. This will give you a fully calibrated individual exposure. And, uh, th but this is still for individual exposure. C C3 just combine all the exposure into a single mosaic. It's our final image as well as producing the final weight image. Uh, we will see later, we will also have an option to do source detection and do other photometry and the comparison with the model data. So here is stage one and stage two, these blocks. We will use the run method. Uh, so the only, uh, the only different configuration from the default pipeline is just uh, skip the reference pixel function, which is this line. Uh, as I said, this is because we don't have such an effect. If you just uh, uh, run the default pipeline with the reference pixel correction, it will produce uh, some artificial stripes in the final mosaics, which is uh, undesired. So let's just run this block. Uh, as you can see, there are a lot of information printed and uh, a lot of steps. Yeah, if you are interested in those steps, you, you can read those. Yeah, it's still running. You can, you can see it print out every steps and uh, what it what it's doing. 
Uh, yes, I think now we are done with stage one and stage two, and uh, here you will see there is a uh, remark saying the uh, step uh, image two pipeline is done. So if you will see this message it means everything goes well, but if you will see some uh, errors, it will point to you what's wrong. But now we are fine, I think, for this run. Yeah, then this block just uh, reset some work directories and where the data file is saved, it also print out the, the products from our stage one, stage two runs. And uh, here are those files. This right on, on the left, you can see where the file is saved, series 7b and the two filters, uh, we try one. And uh, you can see here, we have produced uh, stage one files, stage two files for, for the for the power run, and let's go back. Uh, then I think we are going to stage three. Uh, stage three, that's what we modify most. Uh, that's because there are a lot of difference between the simulation data and the, the real data, so we need to do a lot of work. And uh, so first, uh, there is a keyword which is called photo flag. So this keyword indicates whether you want the pipeline to extract the photometry and produce uh, uh, the source catalog using photo utilities. And uh, we set the choose because we, we want the catalog done. But if you want to save more time, you can say set it to false. And uh, next is uh, background configurations. And uh, these are the, the same configuration as the source extractor parameters because SDP has the same parameters as the, uh, as the source extractor and uh, and the, those uh, parameters are those values are what we think of, uh, can provide a very reliable background estimation then it's the sort of a correction factors uh, because uh, for different bands those are systematic effects uh, what we found in our paper is that the the mirror seam uh, have a different due to they have a different uh, uh, reference file, calibration file, compared to the, the official GWST pipeline, uh, especially considering there is a version difference between the two different codes. So you will, need a, you will find the systematic effects between the, the two. So uh, those factors are what we, uh, we derive using a very bright point-like sources simulated by MirSIM and see what's the difference between the, the model photometry and the, the uh, the measured photometry and we derive those systematics. Uh, the effects are really small. You can see it's only, uh, most of them are below 10%, so it's not a really big deal between different versions. Um, uh, maybe I should just uh, run it. And uh, you can see there are a lot of things happening in the in the stage three. And uh, and uh, first we have, we have some, uh, we have created an association file because we want to merge our different uh, exporters. And uh, we also do, uh, mask additional background pixels and uh, do a SCP background subtraction. That's because we want to model background as a, as a function of the position because the mirror same data products uh, apparently have a spatial dependence background. Then we subtract the background. We also do additional uh, cosmic re rejection using astroscrapy because we found there is some faint background left over by the default pipeline algorithm. So we need to do additional cleaning using the astroscrapy algorithm. And uh, finally, after you you after all this, you will need to uh, uh, correct for the work coding system. Uh, as I just uh, explained, because MirrorSIM don't have the real world coding system, and we really want to have the real co uh, world coding system in the in the image, because we are really simulating the Sears field that has a specific RA and the DAC. So we need to add the real real life coordinates here. And uh, after you do all this. The, the final image will save as the final image dot face in the in, in the directory, and the, also there will be a weight map saved as the final weight dot face, uh, which is in the as you can see on the left, so it's on the series seven B. For example, this filter, you will find those two uh, final weight, and uh, I guess final image is still 
for the thing. Yeah, but how those products are saved in these folders? The run, uh, let me see. I think the run has complete. Uh, by the way, if you set a photo flag to true, it will do an additional step of the of, of the photometry extraction using photo utilities. Uh, here we we just uh, don't uh, don't fine tune the parameter of photo utilities. We just run with the default parameters. Uh, if you want, to, I I interested in the fine tune the parameter of photo utilities and improve improve your photometry quality. Here we just tell you how to do that. You can change the parameter by using the uh, the update parameter update parts function. Uh, if you are not familiar with photo utilities, you you won't know which parameters are available. What I can do to adjust a parameter, you can list all the parameter by using the get part function. That will display all the current parameter available. Then you can change them with update parts function. And for now, I think all the pipeline has been done. If you have the, the photo flag, you, we also produce a photo utilities catalog, the face files, so the photo meter catalog. But, but you may also want to compare with the, the, the mirror photometry versus the model input photometry. Here, I just uh, give you an idea how to, how to do it. Uh, first, I will just define a match function between the two catalogs because you don't know which source is which. You need to do a source matching. Uh, here is just an independent uh, code that do this job. This is very useful. I found uh, over many years it, it performs the same function as the uh, as the uh, SRCOR function in the IDL. If you if you know that IDL astronomy lab of NASA, so that's that's a Python version of this. I write this for myself, and uh, although you, I have also published it online, but since the code is very short, I just uh, copy and paste. So you don't have to bother with installing the package from PIP or somewhere. If I just run it, it will, so the code know the function is there. So the final cell just a compare between the model photometry versus the uh, measure photometry. And uh, of course, you need to tell the, the code which pointing you are interested. For us, we're just interested in one pointing uh, for demonstration purposes. We do a 7B. And the band is 770W. I just run this. So you can see it's just first uh, do a, a matching between the two catalogs. Uh, there you can see there are a second match because it also deal with the systematic effect between the two catalogs. Although the systematic is small for our case because we don't simulate astrometry errors in the simulations. And we have got uh, to 20 sources match between the model catalog and the the measure the catalog. It also plots the the photo utilities measure the magnitude versus the model magnitude, or the delta magnitude between the two versus the model magnitude. Uh, as you can see, there are uh, significant scatters, although there are populations that match really well. Uh, I just attribute this uh, big scatter to the to our uh, bad def bad parameters in the photo utilities because we just use default parameter. For those, I guess those are quite extended sources that the, the, the aperture is, is not big enough, so it's called a significant underestimate of the flux. Uh, so I, I guess you can improve photometry significantly by by, find, by tuning the parameter photo utilities or just uh, doing uh, another photometry using uh, PSF match photometry. For example, in our paper, we have done using the T4 uh, method, which is a dedicated uh, software for PSF match photometry. We actually got a very good agreement between the uh, the model versus the, the observed magnitude using the t fold methods. Although it's uh, quite complicated, we, we don't present here. And we got a five sigma depth that's uh, similar to the what is expected from ETC, and we don't observe a very apparent uh, systematic using. Uh, although I believe photo utilities is also a very useful uh, code that can also do a very high quality photometry, although we just uh, uh, don't find it in here. And uh, uh, I think that's all uh, for the for the mirror notebook.